Hi, in this video we're going to talk about what's called a Poisson distribution. Now these are going to be very easy to recognize in a problem because, well, you're just going to be told that the random variable follows a Poisson distribution. So we'll see a couple of examples in, later in the video. Uh, just like before our notation, uh, we're going to use this, the, the standard notation, the little tip. Uh, tilde symbol is going to represent that uh, the random variable follows and then the parameter uh, that we use for Poisson distribution that's a lowercase Greek letter lambda uh, so I'll write cap n and then the tilde and say cap n follows uh, cap p for Poisson the Poisson distribution with a parameter uh, lambda so one one parameter distribution the support of this distribution in fact the support of the distribution is 0 1 2 3 and so forth uh, like the uh, like the geometric or negative binomial distribution this support is uh, a discrete set but it also has an infinite number of values so it's it's, it's infinite and discrete uh, so I, I'm going to give you the punchline on on these uh, you know these facts. First of all, uh, how to calculate probabilities. So p sub k, or the probability that the random variable is equal to k, is an e to the minus lambda times lambda to the k divided by k factorial. Lambda is the parameter that you're going to have to be uh, either given or or, or calculate. Uh, so you just need to commit this formula to memory. It's a very often tested distribution on exams. So uh, you you need to just commit this this formula to memory. Uh, the expected value and the variance are actually pretty easy to remember. The expected value is the parameter, whatever the parameter is, lambda, and actually the variance is too. So both the, uh, this is a distribution where the expected value and the variance are equal to each other. They're both equal to that parameter, lambda. For that reason, sometimes you might be told that this, you know, it might be, it, the problem might say you have a Poisson distribution with a mean of lambda, or uh, in a very rare instance, maybe you, it says a Poisson distribution with a, with a variance of lambda. But those, they're all equal, the mean, the variance, the parameter, you'll probably most likely see just parameter lambda. Um, but they're, they're all equal, the mean, the variance, and, and the parameter. Okay, uh, let's look at an example. This comes from an SOA sample question uh, for exam P. Uh, an actuary has discovered that policyholders are three times as likely to file two claims as to file four claims. The number of claims filed has a Poisson distribution. There, you're just told that it has a Poisson distribution. And we're asked to calculate the variance of the number of claims filed. So our solution cap n is, is following a Poisson distribution with this parameter lambda. We seek the value of the variance of, of, of cap n. Well, that's just lambda. And this is just a, 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 another way of saying what's, what's the parameter equal to? What's lambda equal to? So let's use the information that's given to us, namely that policyholders are three times as likely to file two claims as to file four claims. So the probability of filing uh, two claims is, is three times whatever the probability is of file, file, filing four claims. Uh, so the policyholders are three times as likely, more likely that has a higher probability of, uh, of calculating, uh, of uh, filing two claims. So the uh, P sub 2 needs to be a bigger value than P sub 4, and not only is it bigger, we're told it's three times bigger than the, uh, the P sub 4 value. At this point, recall the formula for P sub k generally. It's e to the minus lambda, lambda to the k divided by k factorial. So P sub 2, I'm plugging in a 2 for k. P sub 4, I'm plugging in a 4 for k. I get this, this equation. The e to the minus lambdas are gonna are gonna uh, uh, cancel off, and so uh, you know I, I'll, I'll get I'll get this equation that I have shown, and just doing some arithmetic on the right hand side, three three, and then divide by twenty four. That's like divide you know just one eighth. Um, you cross multiply or do some cancellations, uh, whatever process you're going to go through, reduce this equation. Uh, you know, you cross multiply and then, and then divide out by lambda squared, and you'll see that lambda squared would be 4. And generally, when lambda squared is 4, your solutions are lambda would be plus or minus 2, but your parameter is never going to be negative. Uh, it, it, for, for this distribution. The, the parameter is the variance, and so uh, the variance is never negative. The parameter will never be negative uh, for a Poisson distribution. And so um, uh, ignore the extraneous solution of negative 2, and we get that lambda equals 2. So my answer here is that the variance of cap n is, is 2. The, uh, the, uh, uh, in the next slide here, uh, the uh, Poisson distribution has some very nice properties, and, and uh, a couple of them are called scaling and, and partitioning. 
uh, properties. And so let's talk about, uh, for the rest of the video, I want to talk about scaling properties and, and partitioning properties. When, when we talk about scaling, what we're talking about is scaling the, uh, what's called the exposure unit. So in this example, I have vehicles arriving at an intersection during a 24-hour a day. Uh, vehicles arriving at an intersection follows a Poisson distribution with a mean of 80 per hour. So whenever you're counting, uh, and, and that's what the Poisson distribution is, a counting distribution, it's what's called a frequency distribution, we're counting uh, things, and whenever you're counting, you're counting per something, in this case per hour, and that per something, when you're counting per something, the something is called the exposure unit, and so uh, in this case the exposure unit is an, is an hour. However, we might ask the problem, let's, let's tweak the probability here, or, or write a, uh, ask for the probability, what's the probability that exactly 15 vehicles arrive at the intersection during a random 15 minute period? So I, I'm going from an hour to a 15 minute period, I'm gonna scale, the, what I'm doing here is I'm calling it scaling the, the exposure unit to a 15 minute period. So let me start though with the hour exposure unit, cap in be the random variable representing the number of vehicles arriving at intersection per hour. That's what I was given in that first sentence. I'm, not, I'm told that that's a Poisson distribution and uh, I'm expecting to see 80 vehicles arrive per hour. So this cap in is a Poisson distribution with a parameter of 80. And now let's let's define another distribution or another random variable cap in tilde to be the random variable representing the number of vehicles arriving at the intersection during a 15 minute period. So the fact is that when I'm scaling here, I'm going to get another Poisson distribution. So cap in tilde is going to be a Poisson distribution. The question becomes, well, what's its parameter? What parameter do I use for it? And the parameter you can always get by what do you expect to happen? Uh, so I'm a, a it, I'm expecting 80 vehicles to arrive at the intersection per hour and with a, in the scaling idea, I'm scaling the, the, the per hour, the, the exposure unit hour to 15 minutes and since 15 minutes is a quarter of an hour, then uh, I'm going to expect 80 times, uh, I'm, I'm going to expect one quarter of, eight of the 80 vehicles or 20 vehicles to arrive at the intersection during the uh, during a random 15 minute period. That's just the, 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 uh, the property for Poisson distributions. That's a very nice property that, that, that takes place when we have Poisson distributions. And so we're, we've scaled the parameter then from an 80 to a 20. So if I'm counting the number of vehicles that arrive in a 15 minute, uh, a 15 minute time period, then I'm expecting 20. So I'll use a parameter for, uh, uh, for 20 for the cap in tilde random variable. And I'll call that parameter lambda tilde. And then the question is, well, what's the probability that exactly, uh, what's the probability that exactly 15 vehicles arrive during a, 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 a 15 minute period? So the number that arrived during a 15 minute period is a Poisson distribution with a parameter 20. So the probability that uh, I get 15 vehicles arriving during that, uh, that time period would be e to the minus lambda, lambda to the 15 divided by um, 15 factorial using a 20 now as the parameter. Uh, do the arithmetic here and I got a little bit more than 5% when I did the calculation. Uh, I got a little bit more than 5% for that probability. Okay, so, so I mentioned before we were, we were going to talk about scaling and, and partitioning, so that was an example of scaling uh, the, the, the exposure unit. Uh, now let's look at an example of partitioning. I'm, we're going to start with the same setup that we have vehicles arriving at uh, an intersection and we're expecting, uh, we're expecting 80 vehicles to arrive per hour. But now let's partition the vehicles into trucks, let's say 10% are trucks, 25% are SUVs, and the rest are cars. And so I've partitioned the vehicles, the, the objects that we're counting, I've, been, I've partitioned them now. So that's, this is an example of partitioning. And what's the probability that exactly 10 trucks arrive at the intersection during a random one hour period? So with the exposure unit, I'm not doing anything with the exposure unit here. The, 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 the first line here is, is that uh, the number of vehicles arriving uh, are, are arriving per hour and then the the uh, question is the number of trucks arriving per hour. So I haven't done anything with the exposure unit. I've only partitioned the objects that, uh, that we're counting. So with cap in being, uh, as before, cap in being the random variable representing the number of vehicles arriving per hour, I'm expecting 80 vehicles to arrive per hour. So it's a Poisson distribution with a parameter 80. I'm going to define this new random variable, cap in tilde, to be the number of trucks arriving at the intersection during a one hour 
uh, random one hour period. That's, uh, so the fact with Poisson distributions, when you partition, you're also going to get another Poisson distribution. That's nice. So what's the parameter? Well, the original parameter being 80 means I'm expecting 80 vehicles to arrive at the intersection per hour. 10% of the vehicles are, are trucks, so I'm going to expect 10% of the 80 or 8 trucks to arrive at the intersection during a random one hour period. And so my cap and tilde random variable is going to be Poisson with a parameter of 8. I'm expecting 8 trucks again to arrive. Uh, cap and tilde is counting the number of trucks per hour and I'm expecting 8 of them, so that's my parameter. And then the pro question though is, well, what's the probability that exactly 10 do arrive at the intersection? So that's the e to the minus lambda, lambda to the k divided by k factorial. Uh, I'm plugging in a 10 for k, and this time if I'm counting trucks, I'm going to use the parameter 8 for, for lambda, and I get this e to the minus 8 times 8 to the 10th divided by 10 factorial. And uh, when I did that calculation, I got just under 10% uh, when, I, when I did the calculation there. So again, we talked about scaling and, param and partitioning. We did this example with scaling. We did the example with partitioning. So you probably know what's next. Uh, we're going to do both scaling and you can both scale and partition. So let's same setup. We got uh, we're expecting 80 vehicles to arrive uh, at this intersection per hour. Uh, 10%. Let's uh, we're going to assume 10% of the vehicles are trucks. 25% are SUVs and the rest are cars at any time on the road. And uh, the question now is what's the probability that exactly two trucks arrive at the intersection during the ran a random 15 minute period. So I'm partitioning the objects that I'm uh, counting into trucks, SUVs, and cars, and I'm scaling the exposure unit from an hour to a 15 minute period. So I'm gonna set it up the same way with cap n being the random variable uh, that's following this, this Poisson distribution with, with parameter 80. It's the number of vehicles arriving at the intersection per hour. Cap and tilde, I'm going to be, I'm going to define as uh, the random variable representing the number of trucks arriving at the intersection in a 15 minute period. Uh, the fact is that it will be a Poisson distribution since I'm expecting 80 vehicles to arrive at the intersection per hour. And of the 80, 80 vehicles to arrive per hour, I've got, now I'm counting over a 15 minute period. So 15 minutes is, is a quarter of an hour or 0.25 of an hour. I'm not counting vehicles anymore. I'm counting trucks and 10% of the vehicles or trucks. So over that 15 minute period, I'm going to expect uh, of the 80 that were arriving during the hour, a quarter of them are going to arrive during the 15 minute period. So now it's 20, I'm down to 20 vehicles arriving over a 15 minute period. And of those 10% are trucks. So 10% of the 20 is two. And so I've got, uh, I'm expecting two trucks to arrive at the intersection uh, during a random 15 minute period. So my my cap and tilde will be a Poisson distribution with a parameter of two. And then the question is, well, what's the probability that exactly two? Uh, you know, just your parameters two, that's how many you're expecting. Now the probability is, well, what's, what's the probability that exactly two do arrive? And so I plug in a two for, uh, uh, in, my, in my calculation for the, cap, uh, for the, for the piece of K uh, using a, a, a lambda now of a two, and I get an e to the minus two times two squared, uh, divided by two factorial. When I do this calculation, I get about a, a 27%. Okay, so that's uh, very nice properties of Poisson distributions. Uh, you know, the scaling properties and the partitioning properties are, are very nice. Um, all right, so again, these are uh, 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 often tested distribution, Poisson distribution, so uh, you need to commit to memory those, uh, especially the formula for the, for the probabilities, calculating the probabilities using a Poisson distribution, and of course the expected value and the, and the variance of, of the random variable are just equal to the parameter. Okay, well have a, uh, have a good day and I'll see you in the next video.